ENIAC, Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, was the first electronic general purpose computer. It was too incomplete, digital, and capable of being reprogrammed to solve a large class of numerical problems. Though ENIAC was designed and primarily used to calculate artillery firing tables for the United States Army's Ballistic Research Laboratory, its first programs included a study of the feasibility of the hydrogen bomb. When ENIAC was announced in 1946, it was heralded in the press as a giant brain. It had a speed on the order of 1,103, times faster than that of electromechanical machines. This computational power, coupled with general purpose programmability, excited scientists and industrialists alike. ENIAC's design and construction was financed by the United States Army, Ordnance Corps, Research and Development Command, led by Major General Gladian Marcus Barnes. The construction contract was signed on June 5, 1943. Work on the computer began in secret at the University of Pennsylvania's Moore School of Electrical Engineering the following month. Under the code name Project PX, ENIAC was designed by John Mouchley and J. Presper Eckert of the University of Pennsylvania, U.S. The team of design engineers assisting the development included Robert F. Shaw, Function Tables, Jeffrey Chuan Chu, Divider Square Rooter, Thomas Kite Sharpless, Master Programmer, Arthur Burks, Multiplier, Harry Husky, Reader Printer, and Jack Davis, Accumulators. In 1946, the researchers resigned from the University of Pennsylvania and formed the Eckert Mouchley Computer Corporation. ENIAC was a modular computer, composed of individual panels to perform different functions. Twenty of these modules were accumulators, which could not only add and subtract but hold a 10-digit decimal number in memory. Numbers were passed between these units across several general-purpose buses or trays, as they were called. In order to achieve its high speed, the panels had to send and receive numbers, compute, save the answer and trigger the next operation, all without any moving parts. Key to its versatility was the ability to branch. It could trigger different operations, depending on the sign of a computed result.